Hey everyone, Ryan Young, Kama Jiu Jitsu. I hope you're doing well. Uh, sorry for the dark setting in my car right now. Um, this is really the only time I've had to put something together for y'all. And I figured, you know what? I turn the light on, you guys can see me. And most of you just listen to me anyway. Uh, just kind of put it on the side because who wants to see me? Just listen, good enough, right? And that's what I do with all my YouTube videos, by the way. Anyway. Uh, let's see, Sergio, Ma oh Sergio Marrero Jr. just sent this one just a little while ago, earlier today. Uh, it was in response to our "What to Look for in a Jiu-Jitsu School" video. His question is, "What's your opinion about someone earning a black belt without ever wearing a gi?" Um, for example, Tenth Planet Jiu-Jitsu is no gi. Eddie Bravo has a black belt under him. Uh, that are black belt and never put on a gi. In other words, no one must train in both gi and, um, and no gi. So that's that's a good question. Um, here's my thinking on that. It really it really comes down to the individual who runs the school. I mean, you do whatever you want. It you know what I believe really doesn't matter. Um, it, it matters to my students and to us here at Kama Jiu Jitsu, but. You know, does it really matter to to anybody else? Um, I don't. I would contend no. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit. And however, you know, if you want to ask me what I think, you know, if someone should say, you know, Ryan, would you do no gi only? We do. We do not. We do no gi during the summer. We do it from what uh, Jan June 1st through August 31st, and we do the gis from September 1st through uh, May 31st. So really only the summer months we do no gi. Now, do I believe that people can be great grapplers without ever putting a gi on? Absolutely. Um, do I think it's really all-encompassing? No, no. Um, but neither is somebody who only puts a gi on and never takes a gi off as well. You know, you have these schools that do only gi and they're giving out black belts. And you have schools that do no gi only and are giving out black belts. Now, if the individual school owner wants to do it that way, then why not? It's his business. He can run it any way he wants. And his customers will, you know, will either agree with him by staying with him or they'll disagree with him by seeking other, other paths. So for you as the individual looking for a place to train, it really, it comes down to what do you want to do, right? Our thinking is we need to be both good with the gi and without the gi. Now, if we train exclusively with the gi, will we be better with the gi on? I mean, well, you think if we're spending 100% of our time training with the gi on, then you should be able to figure out all kinds of tips and tricks um, with the gi on or wearing the gi. Conversely, if you're not wearing a gi, you should be able to do the same, you know, spending so much time with no gi that you know, if, if, you, if you never put one on, you should be much, much better without one on than you would be when you put one on. And in fact, I'll give you an idea of um, one of my own experiences. You know, it, it comes down to the way we teach jiu-jitsu. The way we teach it, it really doesn't matter whether you wear a gi or not. Because the connection and, and the, weight, uh, the weight placement and all that, it, it's, that's what's the important part. It's not so much the handles and... and um, you know whether or not you can grip on the opponent uh, like a lot of friction that has with the gi it's a much slower game than when you go no gi but if you're connected it really doesn't matter so here's what happened and this is this happened years ago um, i had a, a student who i had been training at that time about four or five months and he had gotten his blue belt and it was very quick right <clears throat> and it's probably because when he and not probably it was because when we started kama jiu jitsu in 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 dallas um, I had two students, and they trained with me five, six days a week. And it was basically a semi-private every single day, the entire time. So they got intensive training, and they got, it, they got, they got to learning pretty quick. So there, there is something to say about uh, training privately uh, versus training groups only. Um, it's not a waste of money. It's, it's well worth your money. But so, well, at least with us. So what happened was here he is four or five months. He got his blue belt at four months. And I had uh, um, somebody come in and, and took a private with me. And I used this student of mine as a training dummy. And they were, the other guy was, a, they were about the same size, both about mm, six one, six two, 
Uh, my student was about 175. The other, the other um, one came in for the private was probably about 195, maybe 200. Um, you know, both pr pretty lean guys, uh, muscular guys. And this, uh, this, this one that came in for the private with me, not my student, but came in for a private, he had only trained no gi. So we went over some no gi concepts because he wanted to do no gi only, so that was fine. And, um, but he also wanted to cover some gi stuff too because he had just started with the gi six months. But he'd been training two years without the gi, so training about two and a half years total uh, versus my student about five months. So, you know, we went over some stuff with the gi on and, and I was showing him how to choke and how to, how to set up arm bars and all that. And, and it was a good lesson. And, and after the hour was up, I asked him if he wanted to train with my student. He said, yeah, I'd love to. So they're training with the gi's on at that time and he wasn't having a good day. Um, he was getting choked out and beat and all that. And, and he obviously wasn't feeling all that good about it because he'd been training two years longer than this student of mine. So he, you know, after getting caught a few times, said, hey, man, I'm really sorry. I, I don't mean to look so bad, um, you know, today getting caught. And I, I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, you know, that's fine. You know, we're all on this journey on our own. And, you know, if I can help you, great. But he said, you know, I'd really like to, to train with your student, no gi, because I've been doing no gi two years longer than I have been doing um, gi. So I said, fine. So he, he took the gi off and... I told my student to take the gi off and my student kind of looked at me like what you know because he'd never trained without the gi because i started kama jiu-jitsu in october of 2013 and this was probably january um january maybe february of 2014 so we're still wearing gi so he had not experienced training without a gi on so I told him, no, no, take your gi top off. And he said, he looks at me and it's puzzled. Like, uh, and I said, don't worry about it, just take it off. So he took the gi top off and they, I, I asked the gentleman, I go, do you want to train now? And he says, yeah. So they went and trained and same result happened. It didn't really make a difference. So that did a couple of things. Number one, it showed the, the visitor that, you know, what we're doing is, is really good, um, regardless of whether we wear a gi or not. And what it, what it showed my student was that what he's learning is the, what, we're, the way we're teaching him, it really doesn't matter whether he wears a gi or not. Tiny little uh, adjustments he has to make here and there. You know, you don't have the, the collar to grab, but you put your hand behind the neck. Uh, you don't have the sleeve to grab, but you grab behind the elbow. Um, and instead of it being um, a slower, more friction-filled game, it's, it's a lot less friction and, and it moves a little faster. But, you know, if you learn how to connect to your opponent, it really doesn't matter how fast he's going because however fast he's going, that's how fast you're going to go too. And this is something I already knew that was going to happen. There's no doubt in my mind because I, I knew the fundamentals of my student. I knew the fundamentals of the, uh, of the visitor and... So it really, the fact that, this, that he trained for two years with no gi, um, it did hamper him when he did put the gi on because he really wasn't used to somebody having handles. Whereas um, our students are used to having the handles and having people grab them. And, and it actually, uh, there's some advantage to it as well because when, like Hoyce Gracie once said uh, before the UFC, they go, why are you wearing your gi top? And he says, because when they're grabbing my gi top, I know they're not going to punch my face. And, and that's, that's very true. Right? If somebody's grabbing your gi, they're occupied with it, and you can do something else. Um, on the other hand, with no gi, they're, they're not going to be grabbing it, and you, then you know that there are a few more options available. But at the same time, when you're training no gi, you're used to having no friction. You're used to being able to slip out of stuff that you're not able to when the gi is on. So training the way we do, you know, the style in which we do, it, you know, going with no gi on, during the summer is really just kind of a formality. I mean, it's kind of fun. We have fun doing it. We, we look forward to no gi season. However, when, when we're in the last month of no gi season, we're looking forward to putting the gi back on because uh, the aches and pains are, are different with, uh, with both styles. But if you teach your jiu-jitsu fundamentally uh, well, then it really doesn't matter whether you wear one or not. So long answer to the question, what do I think about it? In my view, um, you're not quite as well-rounded in your jiu-jitsu um, by only training no gi. And it really, it, it's kind of weird, you know, somebody giving out belts um, for no gi because usually a, a belt is used to hold your gi together. Um, 
but I guess the belt is symbolic. You know, I saw Joe Rogan get his black belt from, from Eddie Bravo, and <laughs> it was funny. He basically just threw it at him and said, here you go. Um, <laughs> it's like, okay, what am I going to do with this, right? Because we don't wear belts anyway. I um, thought it was the funniest thing. But um, if, if you like training no gi, train no gi. If you like training with the gi, train the gi. Um, if you if you if you see value in doing both, then do both. I mean, you know, when I was at Helsin School in Hawaii, we did Monday, Wednesday with the gi and Friday without, and it was like that every week. We don't do that only because what will happen is you'll have people that tend to go to one type of class versus another, and not getting the full experience. So everybody does no gi, and then everybody does gi. So that's our our reasoning behind everything. Uh, what's yours? You know, go ahead and comment below. Come visit us at one of our academies, Kama Jiu-Jitsu in Irvine, California, Kama Jiu-Jitsu in Austin, Texas, and lastly, Kama Jiu-Jitsu in Flower Mound, Texas, which is Dallas-Fort Worth. You can also come see us at kamajujitsuonline.com. Anyway, take care. Happy training. Bye now.